Hey there, comic book fans. Kind of a boring Sunday afternoon here, so I figured I'd do another video. And this time we'll take a look at Not Brand Eck number two. I don't know what's in this one. I haven't. It's funny because the uh, Marvel comics that I got in my youth from, let's say, the late 70s to the early 80s, I know backwards and forwards. But the ones I got. Uh, Later on in life, I think I got this one, Silver Age book, but I probably got it in the 1990s. I probably, you know, read it, looked at it once, and then put it on the shelf for 25 years. So, I don't remember what's in this one besides uh, comedy, and I'm, I'm, I'm expecting to see some Marie Severin. But there's Spidey Man, there's a dumb name, with his uh, funny mouth on that one. Iron Man with his weird head. Lots of other superheroes you might recognize. Let's see, we got Iron Man versus Magnut Robot Biter. So they got a Magnus Robot Fighter parody? Hmm. And a Blunt Thunder Agents parody. Huh, that, that, I wouldn't expect that. Because the Thunder Agents uh, and Magnus... Well, Magnus Robot Fighter's been around, but I don't think anyone really cares about them that much. There we go. Let's see. S Saul Brodsky production. He even got the production guy got some credit on this one. Cover by Marie Severin. I guess uh, Peter Peter Pooper versus Natman and Rotten. Magnut Robot Biter and the Blunder Agent. So I guess this gives us a little. Uh, when did this come out? Look at what's in there. 1967. September 1967, published bi-monthly, I guess, or almost monthly. Let's see, the first one, we got Stan Lee and Marie Severin, Gia Coya, Alan Kurtzrock, the letterer, you got me. And look at this, still still no colorists, uh, no colorists were credited in 1967. Was Marie Severin doing us some comedy? A little Jimmy Olsen for you. The Aging Peter Pooper. Spidey Man. <laughs> Peter Pooper. Peter Pooper is funnier than Spidey Man. <laughs> uh, you know, poop jokes. Uh, that looks like a little uh, Batman and Robin TV show joke with them climbing up the wall. Uh, check out that Batmobile. What are those? Uh, oh, those are... Uh, Sewer, sewer covers for wheels or something like that? I can't tell. A little Batman and Spidey action for you there. Oh look, a, a Mort Weisinger joke. <laughs> I wonder if your average fan would get more Weisinger jokes in 1967. Nice Batman looking around there. Plop! Hey, there's a comic strip from the 70s. The Sergio Argones one. Oh, nice, uh... Nice panel there with Spidey and Mary Jane and Gwen Stacy, looking a little bit like the Archies. Let's see what comes next. Magna Robot Biter. Who did this one? Roy Thomas. Don Heck. Dan Atkins. Sam Rosen. Don Heck and Dan Atkins. I don't know if I've ever seen that combo before. Nice little drawing there of Magnus's face. Yeah, this is some solid Don Heck, I gotta say. Don Heck was always good at the romance stuff. So that stuff look like, like right there looks especially nice. Iron Man and Magnus fight. Giant magnet on the 
Magnus's chest. Didn't you always want one of those Here Comes the Incredible Hulk sweatshirts with There Goes the Incredible Hulk on the outside? I saw some uh, remakes of those in like the 90s that people wore, but I always wanted one as a kid. Don Heck. Don Heck drew Iron Man. Uh, did he draw the Avengers with Iron Man in it? I remember this, this Don Heck. Iron, I know he's drawn Iron Man a bit. I can't remember if he drew the Iron Man comic or drew Iron Man in the Avengers. That weird nose on Iron Man. Up oh, there it goes Magnus eating stuff. Munch, munch, munch. I don't know how funny this is, because <laughs> I've never read it. Well, I may have read it once in the 90s, but don't remember. Uh, who do we have here? Gary Friedrich Marie Severin. And that same letterer from the beginning. It's like Marie Severin doing a little uh, Jack Kirby. Nick Fury. The Blunder Agents. Dum Dum Dugan down there. I would say uh, Marie Severin is much better at doing comedy than Don Heck is. I like that panel in the middle. Whatever the heck that is, a giant blimp running into things. Comedy ain't easy. Here we go. Uh, it reminds me of a... Um, Norman Rockwell painting right there, where he's got the uh, the little girl at the, at the counter, the soda counter, with a, I think a police officer's with her. I can't remember. Remind me a little of that. Oh, there's one of the Thunder Agents. Looks like all of a sudden, wow, all of a sudden he, she really aped Wally Wood style there. I wonder if Dan Adkins inked that panel. I think Dan Adkins inked, was uh, Woody's assistant. What does that say? Crotron needs no pressing. All right. At least we get one Thunder Agent. Ooh, nice dance and fury there. I like that. Support, support your college CIA unit. All right. <laughs> they got jokes going on. Oh wow, there's a good panel. That sort of dancing Nick Fury is really cool. Nice panel. Oh, there's some more of the uh, Thunder Agents. Dynamo was there before. There's Nomad Rob. Really, that's that ape and some more Woody in that face there. With that shadow and lighting. Bear runch. Let's see if he falls on him. Oh, that looks like it's... Oh, I can't think of what actor that's supposed to be. I think that's supposed to be an actor there. Oh, maybe... Oh, that is that the man from Uncle? I think that's the man from Uncle at the end. I guess because we had the Thunder Agents... And the uh, Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D., we get the guy who started it all, the man from UNCLE. Oh, I can't remember his name, but uh, there he is. Pretty good likeness, too. I recognized him, and, uh, and I couldn't tell you what he looks like, but there he is. Oh, some nice Nick Fury drawings right there with Dynamo. And what do we have? Look what's coming next issue. Origin stories. That's what's coming. The official origins of The Mighty Soar. Charlie America, the inedible bulk. Even Irving Forbush is excited about the next one. What do you say, Irv, baby? Zzz. We'll see you next issue. Then you can order yourself some Revolutionary War soldiers. That was pretty neat. Uh, I don't... I think I have a few issues, a couple issues of the crazy comic, too. Not the magazine, but the comic. And I... <laughs> I don't think I ever found a superhero comic 
you know, one of these superhero parodies very funny. <laughs> Even as a kid, I was always kind of like, eh, they're trying, but... What do we got here? Be kind to robots week. It's always fun to look at the chicken fat. All the little jokes that the uh, artist worked in there. Keep off the artificial grass. So there you go. Look at, uh, you know, not the most exciting comic in the world. But uh, I wanted to look through it. So I figured uh, I'd have you guys look through it with me too. And not bad. But remember, to check the kind of body you want. Alright. You guys all have a good week out there.